went out with my friends for a quick lunch yesterday. We all agreed that pizza was the best choice and we were all excited to enjoy a delicious meal together. While waiting for the pizza, my friend got a text notification that his investment worth Rs 30,000 in a mutual fund scheme is successful at the NAV of 107.8. Confused over this three-letter acronym, he asked, what is this NAV? which is always mentioned in the text notifications and account statements he receives from mutual funds. And as we indulged in each cheesy slice of the pizza, the conversation took a delicious, investitious turn, exploring the concept of NAV in mutual funds. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel 5-Minute Finance. In this video, you learn what is a mutual fund NAV, how is it calculated and how is it relevant to you as an investor. So let's dig in. Now imagine the pizza represents a mutual fund. A pizza, as we all know, is made up of wheat, dough, vegetables and a lot of cheese. If we have to find out the price of the pizza, we can say that the total price of the pizza is the total cost of all its ingredients plus overheads. Coming to mutual funds. Instead of wheat dough, vegetables and cheese as ingredients, there are stocks, bonds, gold and cash which have a market price. Now, if the price of the pizza is 1200 rupees and I cut the pizza into 6 slices or units, the price of each slice is the total price of the pizza divided by the number of slices in which I have cut the pizza, which comes out to be 200 rupees. Now, NAV of a mutual fund can be compared to the cost per slice of the pizza. So when you invest in a mutual fund, you get units of a fund. And the price of one unit of a mutual fund is called its NAV. For example, if you want to invest 5000 rupees in a mutual fund scheme whose NAV is rupees 100, you will end up getting 50 units of the scheme. Hope it's clear till here. So if I have to summarize, NAV is the price at which you buy or sell mutual fund units and it changes every day. But then how does it affect your investments? To find out, let's first see how NAV works. Mutual funds declare the NAV of every scheme daily. This is because the value of the securities like stocks, bonds and gold where the mutual fund has invested can change on each business day. For instance, if total investment in a mutual fund scheme is rupees 100 crore, next day the value of these securities may become rupees 120 crore. Now this will in turn increase the NAV. Similarly, if the total value of securities fall, the NAV can decline. Now let's jump on to see how it is calculated. You can see the NAV calculation formula on your screens. So, NAV of a mutual fund is equal to assets minus liabilities or expenses divided by the total outstanding units, where assets means the securities like stocks, bonds, where the mutual fund has invested. Liabilities here means pending payments or any short or long term commitments. Expenses include fund management fees, other administrative expenses. Let's very quickly look at a hypothetical calculation of NAV. Suppose a mutual fund has assets or total investments worth 10 lakh rupees. It charges an expense ratio of 2%. The mutual fund has pending payments worth 1 lakh rupees and total outstanding units are 90,000. So, we put all the values in the NAV calculation formula and the NAV of this fund comes up to be 9.99 rupees. I hope the calculation part is clear by now. All right. Now coming to the most important question that my friend had asked. How does NAV affect his money that is invested in mutual funds? So it's simple. When you buy mutual funds, the number of units that you receive depends on the NAV of the fund. We have already seen this earlier in this video. Similarly, when you sell your mutual fund units, the price at which you sell is the NAV on that date. Also, Change in NAV helps you to monitor how that mutual fund has performed. So, if the NAV of the scheme goes up, you can say that the scheme's investments have fared really well. On the other hand, 
If the scheme's NAV goes down, then you can assume that the fund's investments have done poor. Beyond this, NAV is not relevant in comparing two mutual funds or even deciding whether or not to invest in a particular scheme. The value of NAV does not make a fund good or bad. With this, we have come to the end of this video. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to our channel and share this video with others as well. We'll see you with another insightful video soon. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.